Theresa May scored better than either Boris Johnson or Sajid Javid against Jeremy Corbyn as to who would make the best prime minister, a new poll has revealed. The exclusive BMG research survey for the Independent showed Ms May is the only conservative leader of the three tested who is preferred by the public to Labour's Mr Corbyn. The survey did show however, that Mr Johnson was still named by the highest number of people when asked who should take over the Tory leadership if the prime minister were to step down. Overall the poll carried out in the middle of the Conservative conference, just ahead of Theresa May's speech, showed both parties all but deadlocked in terms of voting intention, with Labour on 39% and the Tories on 38% once don't knows were discounted. Pollsters asked a weighted sample of more than 1,500 people who they would prefer as Prime Minister in three different contests, May v. Corbyn, Johnson v. Corbyn and Javid v. Corbyn. In the first, 34% of people said they would prefer to see Ms May as Prime Minister compared to 28% for Mr Corbyn, with 40% of people saying they would be satisfied with the choice presented, compared to 32% who said they would not. In the second contests, just 27% said they would prefer Mr Johnson as Prime Minister to the Labour leaders 31%, but now only 35% of people were satisfied with the choice, compared to 41% who were not. In the final pairing, 22% of people said they would prefer Home Secretary Mr Javid as Prime Minister compared to 27% for Mr Corbyn, with only 29% of people satisfied with the choice compared to 40% dissatisfied. Created with Sketch Created with Sketch Chancellor Philip Hammond said in an interview with the Mail that Boris has never been a details man, won't be next Prime Minister and that his most notable policy achievement is the launching of Boris Bike Speaking to Sophie Ridge on Sunday, former Brexit Secretary David Davis said a lot of his ideas, I think, are good headlines but not necessarily good policies speaking on Sunday politics. Leader of the Scottish Conservatives Ruth Davidson has said that Boris' use of language in attacking the Prime Minister's checkers plan was not wise and urged for a period of silence speaking at a fringe event at the conference, Business Secretary Greg Clark stated that Boris' idea to scrap HS2 and instead build a bridge to Northern Ireland was completely the wrong approach speaking on stage in Birmingham. Crossbench peer Lord Digby Jones branded Boris as irrelevant and offensive for his comments on business referring to Boris' recent six-point Brexit plan. Scottish Secretary David Mundell stated that these are things for headlines, not for the substance of negotiations. Chancellor Philip Hammond said in an interview with the Mail that Boris has never been a details man, won't be next Prime Minister and that his most notable policy achievement is the launching of Boris Bike speaking to Sophie Ridge on Sunday. Former Brexit Secretary David Davis said a lot of his ideas, I think, are good headlines but not necessarily good policies speaking on Sunday politics. Leader of the Scottish Conservatives Ruth Davidson has said that Boris' use of language in attacking the Prime Minister's checkers plan was not wise and urged for a period of silence speaking at a fringe event at the conference. Business Secretary Greg Clark stated that Boris' idea to scrap HS2 and instead build a bridge to Northern Ireland Ireland was completely the wrong approach speaking on stage in Birmingham. Crossbench peer Lord Digby Jones branded Boris as irrelevant and offensive for his comments on business referring to Boris' recent six-point Brexit plan. Scottish Secretary David Mendel stated that these are things for headlines, not for the substance of negotiations. The data follows other polls giving similar backing to Ms May as she faces potential challenges to her leadership from the likes of Mr Johnson and others in the party who are unhappy with her Brexit strategy. If Ms May were to step down however, 18% said Mr Johnson would make the best Prime Minister compared to 9% for his nearest rival, Scottish Conservative leader Ruth Davidson, who has ruled herself out of a tilt at the leadership anytime soon, and 6% for Mr Javid, Chancellor Philip Hammond and backbencher Jacob Rees-Mogg. When it came to voting intention the two big parties were deadlocked on 30%, with the Liberal Democrats on 8% and UKIP and the Greens on 3%, with 22% being unsure or not saying. Once people were pushed for an answer and don't knows, discounted, the poll showed Labour on 39%, the Conservatives on 38%, the Lib Dems on 10% and UKIP and the Greens on 4%. The Independent has launched its